Today we're gonna to do our first ever style quick tip. I get quite a few questions about the Syntec 22MA controller. Sometimes I have the answer, sometimes I don't. This one, I do have the answer. Someone wrote in, they said, Jason, can you explain what external shift is? If you go to the work offset tab on the right hand side of the control, and you look at the work offset screen, in the top left there's a column and it says external shift. And this can be used in a variety of different ways, and on other machines there are actually G-codes that can implement this, but let me just give you the simplest explanation I can think of. Let's just say you cut a part on, let's just say a piece of carbon fiber or maybe a piece of aluminum, and maybe you've got a big sheet of material, maybe it's plastic, for me, this was a shock tower for an RC car that I used to make. Well, what you can do is if you have varying sizes of material, you can program to make one part, okay? So you make your first part, and now you need to reset the work offset. You could go into your main work offset, let's just say G54, and you could just keep adding a couple inches, and then you'd have to reset it all when you put a new piece of material down. But if you use shift, all you would have to do is run your first part. And then if you want to shift, let's just say the shock tower, let's just say it's 2.8 inches wide and you want to start a new one. You could just take your work offset and up in the shift and the X axis row, you could just add three inches and it'll add three inches to your current work offset in the X value. Now when you go to cut your next part, it's going to move the entire toolpath over three inches and boom, you're ready to go. So the reason I mention this is it wasn't uncommon for me to try to use every bit of material when we were making carbon fiber parts. And so if we had a scrap left over that was big enough to cut two parts, I didn't always program two parts onto that piece. I would create one toolpath and then I would just do an external shift when I was going ahead to do the second one. And then when you put a new fresh full-size piece of material in there, you can either A, program all the parts for that actual or, you know, correct width of stock, or you can just make a part, shift it, make a part, shift it, make a part, and shift it, and then you never have to worry about resetting your G54. Normally, I would try to do this for you guys with a bunch of cameras, but unfortunately, I'm having camera issues these days. So why don't we grab a tool so we'll just go to tool change. I want tool five, enter, execute. You see it orients the spindle. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this tool right over here. We'll use the hand, we're going to use the hand jog wheel. Okay. So we're just going to say, let's just say hypothetically, this is G54 right here. This is a six inch vice for the record. So we'll just go to tool offset. We're going to go to G54 workpiece, apply machine coordinate. Yes. Apply machine to coordinate. Yes. And then we're going to make this zero enter. And so we, all we have set is the X and Y for G54, okay? So just to, just to prove to you guys that this is, this is correct, we'll go ahead and we'll do this. We'll hit MDI. We go to the monitor, hit MDI, and you see that we've already got G54, G00, X0, Y0 already in our screen. We hit OK. Now when we, we have 100% rapid, we'll turn it down so it's not crazy. So 25, and you're going to see that it's going to go right back here to the jaw where we set it. Boom, simple as that, okay? So if we were cutting a little part on let's just say a boss on a piece of aluminum, we could run our tool path. And then if we wanted to do a couple more on that same piece of material, we could just set multiple tool, we could set multiple work offsets. We could just program them all in a fixture like inside CAD, or we could use the external shift feature. And so that's what I'm gonna show you guys right now. So, so again, let's do this one more time. Let's, let's move it out of the way. I have my rapids turned down to be fair. That's about 50% of what this machine's capable of just because it's got the rotary on here. So this is G54 X0 Y0, okay? 
Now if we wanted to shift that, we, we would go up into our work coordinate and we'd say, okay, I want to shift it three inches. And now when we hit the exact same thing, look, nothing's changed. It's still G54, G00, X0, Y0. We hit okay. Now it's going to go right here. And if we wanted, now if you're saying, will it happen again? No, it won't. It's already there. This is not a G91 command. It's just changing the work offset. So if we did it one more time and we said, let's make it 6.0 inches. Now when we do it, go back to MDI so you guys can see. Nothing's changed. G54, G00, X0, Y0. Hit OK. Now it's 6 inches, the other side of the vise. And if we wanted to start over, we would just go back and we would take our external shift. We would make it 0. Hit Enter. Back to here. And boom. And that is how you use external shift. Like I said, it can be used for z-axis and, and a variety of other ways, but this is a very useful feature depending on the application. Hope this makes sense for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this, do me a favor, click the thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.